What's going on, Legion? Azure we're here, like always, and it was fixed, it was working, but it's not now. So we got some uh, uh, one-man one, one, man, uh, one man army, I believe is what this is. Um, kind of interested, kind of... Uh, I tried, you know, getting the normal video, like, on YouTube or something like that, and there's actually a, a one with um, Nicolas Cage and some other weird ones. This is one of those movies that has such a similar name, not just to a video game, but just things of all over the place that's just very weird and absurd so with that let's just get to the actual video i wanted to check out uh this is apparently going to be starring the, the girl that's in the new matrix movie uh i forgot holly i think it's holly i can't remember her name um but yeah she's in this so if you know who that is awesome i already i read it i was like yeah i'm gonna tell you guys and then i forgot so i mean i could probably just do one of these one of these one of these and of course she's gone who was it again? It is Ellen Hallman. That's why I got the, the names mixed up. But yeah, let's just uh, get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. I can't adjust the volume on this player, so I'm sorry. What brings you two to this little community? We're just traveling, getting away from work. Oh! Looks like it's just I like that music in the opening. Dylan? C4. We need to get the hell out of here. Who sent you? Today's your sentencing day. You killed my husband. She Rambo. this one that makes it more believable usually when you get the uh the one man army videos whether it's man or woman usually when it's a woman it's more of a, a thinner frailer looking woman with some shoddy plot holes she looks like you know not like a ufc fighter but she's not like this dainty person she looks like she could she rough and tumble kind of person which is cool Maybe it's the, um, I guess maybe it's the look, the blonde hair makes me kind of, and she's in the army. Maybe I, oh yeah, Texan girl. You don't mess with the Texan girl or something like that. I don't know what it is. There's, there's just something where I'm like, ah, oh, she, she fits this role kind of well. And it actually looked fairly decent. It wasn't a lot of, um, I think what gets really unbelievable is when you watch, and this isn't like all women, of course. And I know it sounds really bad to say, but when you watch someone that looks like they're, I don't know, five, six, you know, 100 pounds, fighting three guys that are like two something and like six, five, and she's winning. Like, I don't know how much Taekwondo or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu you think you know or you expect us to believe that she has, but it, it visually it looks very unrealistic, right? She's over here with like a freaking like makeshift bow staff beating the shit out of somebody i understand that she may be like like she was on the defensive she was getting the crap kicked out or beat out of her and then he, she just grabbed his arm and put him in an arm bar i mean if you're an idiot or just unexperienced maybe yeah like i can i can see you just getting caught off guard with that this is some hillbilly country bumpkin that supposedly is a gun runner the the men in this movie are the ones that are i think more unbelievable like who sent you freaking it looks like uh Oh god, I can't even I can't even pronounce that idiot's name. The freaking the wrestler from Street Fighter with the mohawk. That was this guy. Right? Like that's that's what we were looking at and they're like I, I imagine the explanation from from the the man that got killed was hey, we were just finding a quiet place to be alone, blah blah blah, and he just didn't believe it and he killed him, right? Like some 
some uh, moonshine, you know, crackhead, whatever, just, eh, and fucking, you know, snorted some speed, and now you put a bullet in that guy's head because he's freaking off his rocker. You know, he's insane. And that's the more unbelievable part. Her over there freaking, you know, using traps and stuff like that, like it's uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, that's a little better than, like, G.I. Jane or something, or, or oh, no, it's not the best example, but, uh, you know, if we had, like, Ronda Rousey in there, I, I'd have, well, I mean, we, we know it could be a thing. We know it could be real because she could really kill somebody. Um, but when it gets actresses, especially actresses that have either played princesses or something like that, where you see them in a typical role, not pigeonholed, but something more, something that's not action. You know, it's really hard to, to, to sell them in, in an action movie. Like, a, um, oh, crap, what's her name? Um, well, uh, Jessica Chastain, when she was, I, I never saw, what was it, Zero Dark Thirty or whatever? I never actually saw that movie. Um, although, I don't know why. I, I kind of want to, but uh, she just pulled off the look. She pulled off the look and had the attitude, right? Like, at my job, there's somebody that's a lot shorter than me. I believe she was in the military. It's a boss of mine. And she could be very mean or, or scary looking, right? And a lot of people are like, yo, she's the worst. And when I met her, I was very polite, and I've always had a good relationship with my bosses, you know? And uh, But it doesn't matter what you necessarily look like if you got the attitude and if you got the walk about it, right? I know a real-life uh, female uh, enlisted or previously enlisted individual that has that attitude, right? So Jessica Chastain, she walks in, you know, in the trailers and stuff like that. She looks like she has bitch written all over her face. She has the look, the hat, the glasses. It fits, right? You know, you get Charlize Theron. She's not a very, she's not a small person. She may be a, a, a little on the leaner side, but Atomic Blonde, you know, they put a trench coat on her or whatever it was, and with her height, yeah, you're like, yeah, she's she's kicking people's asses, and that's the end of the story. You know, um, and with some of them, you get these little five foot three girls that are like, you know, how, how, how it, it just seems so like they, they, they got an actress that would try to sell tickets instead of something that was more believable for a general audience. Right. So her fans come to their movie, but people don't like the movie in general, like uh, the, the rest of the people. So that's kind of how I think Hollywood sometimes does it. The movie's going to be kind of eh. let's get this person that doesn't fit it an eh movie so that her fans or his fans can come and give us more money. And then the movie will just kind of be whatever. This girl looks like it fits. Uh, it looks like it's in another scenario of eh, but it, it looks more believable. It looks like it's written better. Nothing. It's not super being uh, uh, the trailer. I can't even find it on YouTube, really. Um, and so, yeah, it, it, I think it's all these little things that I think is good, you know, um, uh, movie creation right it's a, it's a pretty eh, eh, the acting on some of the people might be questionable the writing seems more of a, a grounded nature the movie isn't going to be this huge movie but they got somebody in the movie that looks like they could probably sell it and for her career even though she's going to be in the matrix movie that's huge this movie's coming out first i believe so this is going to be more of her uh more of a ship uh i can't think of the term um She's shipping her career kind of on this movie, on her acting, not how good the movie is. Um, even though she already landed a big movie, then if, if she wasn't the best in that, you know, it, it doesn't matter how bad the movie is, it matters how you perform in it. In Hollywood, that's what people are looking at, not the movie and not the sales. Until you get like Brad Pitt level, then it's like, I don't care what he's doing, just put that man's sexy face on the cover of my movie and it's going to be great, right? Like Johnny Depp or whoever. Um, and uh, so yeah that's kind of how like I, I view it I think this movie is going to be doing all the little things right it's not going to be the biggest movie but I think it'll be an interesting movie sorry for rambling so long uh, I just had a lot to say about it so with that thanks for watching thanks for hanging out see what everybody I'm doing next later guys